Okay guys, I got it. After I started the first live, it told me to turn my camera, so I couldn't do it. I had to restart. So I wanted to show y'all some stuff that I bought today. You know, I love garage sales, thrift stores. I don't always go, but today I was out, so I stopped at a few. And I want to show y'all what I got and what I plan on doing with it. So the first garage sale I went to, it was an estate sale, which sometimes is great because they just want to get rid of stuff and everything's cheap. Or sometimes they want expensive prices for all their stuff. So this one was kind of in between. She had a lot of good stuff. A lot of it was overpriced, so I passed on it. And But I did pick up some good stuff. Now, if I'm buying it for myself, I don't mind spending a little bit more, but if I'm buying it for retail, then I try not to, to pay too much for it. So the first thing I got, and I'm gonna show y'all what I got and what I plan on doing with it. So I paid $20 for everything that I got at the estate sale. So this is actually an old lampshade, which you could use it as this if you wanted. I know this is like a shabby chic style just to do the metal lampshade but i'm thinking it would make the cutest little basket to put stuffed animals in what i plan on doing is just putting a few coats a clear coat on it to seal in all this nice rust they already have on it which i love and then i'll cut the metal off and then i'll i was thinking of putting string so it'd be a cute little basket or you could turn it this way too and use it as a little table yeah, I might put that in the baby's room or fix it up and sell it. Not sure yet, but I was not passing this up. I mean, how cute is that? The little scallops. I love it. So this is something I'm definitely keeping. It was $5 and I just love it. If you've seen Ren's room, it's very vintage, very antique. And I just thought this would be so cute sitting on a shelf. It's not creepy like some rag dolls. I just thought it was cute. And it's a nice size. And if she wants to play with it, she can play with it. Do y'all like it? Oh, also, I'm videoing in my foyer, which if you saw my post the other day, I was painting my foyer. So I took everything down. Now I have everything back up, hanging. Looks great. Fresh coat of paint. The next thing I got is this little colander. So it's probably from the store, I don't know, but it was a dollar and I love the shape of it and how the circles go from bigger to smaller. I just thought it would look great. Um, chalk painted, probably in white with a little distressing. You could put some fruit in it or some, I love these to put in bathrooms to put stuff in or flowers, whatever. I just love colanders. Let me show you this colander I picked up. I've been having this one for a while that I picked up at the state sale. It is amazing and rusty and it sits in my foyer and we put our sunglasses in it. I just love it. I love colanders. I have them all over my house. The rustier, the better. And if you find something that's rusty and you love the way it looks, just spray a few coats, a clear coat on it, and you're good to go. Now this thing, I don't know what it is. If y'all know what it is, let me know. I think it's some kind of knitting thing. That's what it looks like, but I'm not sure. I just thought it was really cute. I was thinking you could put coffee cups on it or jewelry. You know, you put your rings, your bracelets. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. It was really cute. I love this color wood. It's just a perfect little vintage color. I like the shape of it. It's interesting. Okay. Next, I got some jars. I love vintage jars. Um, I want to say they were like a dollar maybe. I love putting these in a little grouping in the bathroom or wherever in my house. I use them all over the place. And then I just loved this one. I like the shape of it and that had a little handle. This will look so cute in a bathroom with some Q-tips or some cotton balls or you can put it anywhere in the house with a little bit of greenery. I just really like the shape of it. 
and a little handle. I mean, I just think handles add character to it. Okay, this probably came from Hobby Lobby or something. I don't know. I've never seen it before, but I just thought it was so cute. It's a glass apple pail. So it's inspired by those little red apple pails, except it's made out of glass. It might be old because the, the handle's kind of rusty. But how cute is this? And I could get some fake apples and put in it. I just loved it. So it was coming home with me. The next thing I got might be the best deal. So I love baskets. I can't believe she still had this here because I know she had this at state sale yesterday. These baskets for $8, there's three of them. So this is the first one. Look how huge. And I have one like this already, probably more about the size of the smallest one. And it's in Ren's room and I put all her blankets in it. I just love them. They're like the perfect aged vintage looking brown. I love it. I'm probably gonna put one in my living room because she's starting to collect a lot of toys and I need some just to throw all the toys that she leaves around the living room. So there's three baskets. This is the biggest, this is the smallest, and there's a medium sized one. Oh look, there's a price tag on it. $14.99, just for this one basket. I always pick up baskets at garage sales because if you go in the stores, these things are so popular right now, but they are so expensive. You can put plants in them, blankets, stuffed animals, uh, just whatever. I love them. Okay, next, I'm going to show y'all some stuff I got when um, I went visit my husband. I went to the Goodwill and just got a few things over there. So super excited to find this. I love these vintage hat racks. I have one right here in my foyer and I love it. And when I found this one, which it needs to be repaired, I have all the pieces so I can repair it. It is just the perfect aged wood color. This will definitely not be painted. And I have a place I wanna put it in my master bedroom. And if it doesn't work out, I'll sell it, but I have a plan for it. I just love it. Look how big it is. This one's a little bit smaller. This one's bigger. I think it's gonna look great in my master. And then this is something I'm definitely gonna paint and sell. It's just, it's all wood, but it's a, uh, was inspired by those old washers. And my plan is to probably paint it white, distress it, and then write something on here, probably put some little flowers in it, and then it will look so cute in a little laundry room or a bathroom. Oh, it could be a towel holder too. But I was thinking flowers, painted white flowers, and then you could hang a little. Okay, I don't know what happened. Hopefully y'all can still see me. Give me a thumbs up if you can still see me. All the stuff from the say sale and the two things from goodwill and then as you know or maybe you don't know i have four kids and i like to dress them cute all the time but clothes is really expensive so some people don't like to go to garage sales and find clothes to me it doesn't matter especially with my new little girl i love to dress her up but i'm not going to pay 15 20 dollars for an hour oh my god i got my friend's kids calling my phone okay i'm back so let me just show y'all, in case y'all think y'all can't find cute stuff at garage sales, some of the cute stuff. I Everything was about 25 cents. So this cute little denim romper. Oh, I love this. Love me some cardigans on my babies. How cute. Little embroidered stuff. Oh, I got Waylon a fishing shirt. little shards like i said everything was about 25 cents oh and also if this has got you in the mood to go garage sailing my friends Brittany and sheena are having a garage sale today in pf art 
And I saw they had some cute little vintage stuff. So y'all go check them out and buy some stuff from them. So like, yeah, 25 cents. Most of this stuff is from Target or Old Navy. Oh, look at this. Look at this baby cardigan. <gasps> With her little headbands. Oh my God, she's gonna be so styling. She needs some pink moto tights. This cute little dress. Now when I'm looking for stuff, I'm looking for if uh, I'll go up like maybe one to two sizes if it's really cute but that's it because I don't like to store stuff so yeah I mean just, just from Target leggings you know they need every color leggings oh another little cardigan I love cardigans on my babies so oh and then I picked up this uh, this is a Lazy Susan. So this is a great tip for painting. I love getting Lazy Susans to paint on. You can just stick your project on there and then turn it. And it makes it much easier instead of having to pick it up and turn it around. Also brought, bought them a game for a dollar and that's why it's quiet in the house because they're all playing the game that I got for them. And that is it. Do y'all have any questions before I get off? Let's see how many... Did y'all like this? Is this something y'all want me to do more of? Like show y'all the stuff that I find and what I plan on doing with it? All right. Well, I'm going to get off now. And um, if y'all have any questions, just message me. Bye.